Hi, this is Brian from Tantrum Cycles, here to talk to you about the unique patent pending missing link suspension system seen here and available only on the 2017 Tantrum mountain bikes. The missing link is a unique patent pending suspension system. Why is it called the missing link? This very piece I'm pointing here. This link connects the link that the chainstay pivots on to the upper shock mount. The purpose of this is to input forces from the chain stay forward and backward into the shock, either helping the shock compress or resisting the shock from compressing. So how does it work? To give a clear picture of what's happening, I remove the upper bolt holding the missing link under the upper shock and the driven link from the rocker. This will let us separate the links and show what's happening. So the missing link we see is pivoting on the frame with the chain stay pivoting on the missing link. This allows the link to respond to the horizontal forces forward for pedaling, rearward for bump, and allows the missing link to rotate in a direction to assist compression or resist compression. For example, if I hit a bump, I'm going to simulate it by hitting the wheel like this, and we'll watch the missing link rotate in a direction to assist compression. Now that it's compressed, we'll see what happens when we give it a little pedal pressure. Bump, pedal, bump, pedal. So the missing link is continually rotating back and forth depending on what is demanded of it. At the same time, the wheel is free to respond to any vertical bump forces through the normal rocker. So we can see that the missing link and the rocker are continually combining their forces to modulate what happens to the shock, making it stiffer, softer, or leaving it alone, depending on what you need as a rider. For this part of the demonstration, I replaced the bolt connecting the missing link to the driven link from the rocker, but I still left out the shock. In this way, you can see the suspension is clear to cycle but I'm going to put it at full extension and give it a little pedal pressure. You can see that it supports itself. If I back off, it collapses. But if I give it the pressure, it will hold itself up. This demonstrates how the missing link is able to transmit pedaling forces and make the shock stiffer under extreme climb. Think of the connection between the missing link and the driving link of the rocker as like the joint of a knee. When it's straight, it's very strong and stout. But when you hit the back of it, it can buckle very easily, just like your knee. So hopefully now you have a better idea of how the missing link works and how it can be a benefit. So to review, under pedaling, especially under extreme pedaling, such as a smooth climb, the missing link allows the shock to go to full extension, giving the steepest possible climbing geometry and a good stiff pedaling platform. But when you hit a bump, the missing link rotates to compress the shock easily, absorbing the bump like that, and if you're still climbing, going back to full extension to make the, less, the rest of the climb easier to make the rest of the climb easier. So the missing link aids to continually modify the shock force, making it softer for bump absorption or stiffer for climbing, and also continually modifies the geometry, making it steeper for climbing and slacker for descending. All the things you want in a good bike. Thanks for watching.